All right. Hello, you guys. We are live. Okay. It's Amanda from HeismanHealth.com. I'm the Intuitive Nutrition and Energy Coach, and I wanted to come on real quick, check in with you guys, and see how last week's detox tips went and how you're doing with it all. I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Do tell. And I wanted to jump on. I'm over in the Holistic Detox with uh, a group of us over there. We've just, like, we're just getting going. And I wanted to jump in and give a really super quick tip today uh, around smoothies. So sometimes, um, sometimes I don't, re like, sometimes I need to get back in my beginner's mind. Sometimes I need to remember what it feels like to be a beginner, uh, which I try to do, especially with all my clients. But sometimes you've been doing something for so long, you forget what it's like to do it for the first time. Who's had that experience? where you've just you're in a in a groove with something in your life or more often you might experience it where the person you're learning from is going a mile a minute um, like they showed that on Grey's Anatomy where the resident was learning from the attending doctor and she can't keep up with him right or more often like my IT guy I don't know what he's saying, like uh, what he's telling me to do, right? But we all have our expertise and um, anyway, so I forget sometimes what it's like to be a beginner and um, every time my clients take me into their kitchen, it's a magical moment for me. Hi, Cherie. I'm just giving a tip inspired by our detox, which Cherie is in. Um, about smoothie making so for example one of my um, one of my old clients took me in her kitchen on a video call and um, she was complaining about how much time it was taking to chop vegetables um, and we found out she was trying to do it with a butter knife so no judgment there it's just how often are we making things more difficult on ourselves than they have to be right once you use the correct tool um, things will be so much easier or little hacks that maybe we don't even know exist so one of the things inspired by our detox uh, for smoothies is to what I do is I use just enough water to cover the blade and then I fill it all the way up with greens so I'm not trying to fit everything that goes in the smoothie in one go round, right? I fill all my greens up so I can be sure to kind of nutrient pack my uh, smoothie. So whatever greens I'm having, whether it's kale or spinach or whatever, I fill her up to the top and then just with water. And then I blend my leafy greens down to make space for everything else. So I usually do two blends, right? First the greens to to get them down and now at the same time I'm kind of balancing it with I don't want those greens exposed to too much heat from the blender so um, so I don't want them to like I don't want to put it on a full smoothie on a full smoothie setting I just want to get them down right I just want to get them down it, it can be a little chunky and then it'll get fully blended when I put the rest of my fruit and vegetables in to my smoothie and then you can always add more water afterwards or ice if you would like it a little colder than it is uh, or you can always add more water to smooth that smooth it out smooth out the taste add some coconut water if it needs to be sweeter add some more of this add another banana whatever makes it taste palatable to you um, but I wanted to be sure you know uh, rather than people it's kind of hard for some folks to wrap their mind around having I always talk about having a higher vegetable ratio than fruit ratio or at least 50 50 whereas most folks are kind of going like this with their smoothies and it's hard for them to wrap their minds around getting that much green in one smoothie it's actually not that difficult so definitely use that quick tip uh, to get more greens in and I guarantee you if you're using lemon uh, it'll cut the green taste and then if you're using like a banana or a mango or a pineapple or something it's going to uh, it's gonna make it nice and sweet or today I went wild with the blueberries I'll post a picture later this week um, it was blueberries gone wild <clears throat> yay oh my 
I did it this morning and was like, why did I not, all caps from Cherie, why did I not know about this before? LOL, I got so much more stuff in doing it your way. Awesome. Yeah, that's so awesome. <laughs> I didn't want to call you out there, <laughs> but I appreciate it. So I wanted to give everyone, share the love and give everyone that quick tip today. This is just a super quick live. Um, I'm going to jump over in my group now in Intuitive Eating for Energy. If you guys are there, I'm going to do a little bit longer live and then I'm going to be in uh, my holistic detox doing a live there. Um, but you're all welcome to join Intuitive Eating for Energy if you're not over there. And I definitely wanted to know how last week's detox tips went for you and our energy building basics tips and, um, and how you're integrating them into your daily life and what questions do you have. Now, I also wanted to let you know that I'm going to be back on, I will do a, I will post, I think tomorrow, if not tomorrow, Thursday, but with the energy of this super full blood blue lunar eclipse moon, <laughs> there's a lot going on, and so I want to offer up a little, um, say that five times fast, right? I want to offer up a little ask me anything, a little healing thread, and I'm going to be doing this um, on my page here. So kind of think about what you want. Uh, you know, I'm going to do a little mini intuitive um, reading for each person, not on this thread, but I'll come on tomorrow and I'll do, I'll do as much as I can live and I'll schedule it that way you guys can join, um, join in live and the ones I don't get to, I'll get to in the comments. <laughs> She's like, haha, I don't mind, call me out. Awesome, you guys. Um, happy Tuesday. And I'll see you over in the group and um, I will see you I will see you tomorrow or Thursday for this healing thread so get ready kind of get your questions ready or what you're dealing with and if you're not if you want to ask a question but you're not sure kind of sit with yourself a little bit about what true nourishment means to you what's nourishing you right now and what's not um, full moons like are always this is a super powerful one <clears throat> I'm not into it. I'm not an astrologer, so I'm not going to go into um, all of the details about it because uh, I can't really speak to that. But full moons are all about releasing that which no longer serves you. So what no longer nourishes you? What maybe did nourish you uh, for all this time, but now it's time to let go? Like maybe now it's now is a time like a practice to lay down a little bit. It's a uh, uh, and to release like it served you up to a point and so we want to thank it and recognize it and acknowledge it it's not bad it served you right and so now it's the time to release it but we want to do that acknowledgement like maybe even do a little ceremony of acknowledgement for whatever you are releasing um to make space for what you're calling in anyway that was a that was a big spiel but i would love to help you do that um, in this intuitive thread that we're going to have, and I will announce it. Okay? Cool beans, dude, she says. Cool beans. <laughs> cool beans and quinoa <laughs> with some greens and tomatoes. <laughs> All right. Love you guys.